Yo, foots, foots, foots here. What's going on, y'all? <sighs> what a day. What a 24 hours. I got my smoothie right here. Um, strawberry, banana, blueberry, a little protein powder, a lot of spinach. <sighs> Everybody just take a deep breath for a second, all right? It's a lot going on. I'm going to hit on all of it. Actually, let me let me get a few things out the way. Um, the Cash App is on the bottom of the screen. As you guys know, I don't go live, um, so I never really get the chance for donations. Thank you guys to those who donated. Um, Isaiah Battle, Broderick Johnson, Ethel. You guys just throw something in the Cash App, man, if you can. It means the world. I told you guys I'm going to get back to being consistent. Although YouTube does look out, every little donation helps to the channel. I, I'm spending time, and trust me, with COVID, my money has definitely taken a hit. Not complaining because God got me, God got us throughout all of this, but it's still just one of the things like, if you can't support, please support. I want to give two shout outs. One shout out to my man Swags, um, local coach in this area. He coaches at uh, the City Life Rappers, one of my dogs. I've known him for years. Uh, he watches the channel, big Cowboys fan, um, real name Horace, that's my dog. And then <clears throat> my man Christian, uh, a, a buddy that I grew up with, he watches the channel. And I wasn't even hit, and me and him actually grew up playing youth ball together. So it's just crazy how those relationships can intertwine um, and, and like how we just been friends. He's a young father, I'm a young father, so it's lit. Cowboys fans, Cowboys fans, Cowboys fans, let's get to the monkey in the room real quick because I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Social injustice. We know what happened with uh, with King Jacob being shot. I call him a king because we're all kings, white, black. All of you guys are kings at the end of the day. We're all, I'm, I'm pro people um, and I'm pro community. Brother was shot in the back. Obviously, it's disgusting act. And I'm one of these people that I'll never blanket all white people for being bad. And there's a group of people who think a certain way, who with me and my swag and my hair and my locks and my dark skin scare these people. That cop is, we can't blanket all cops as bad people, but that cop is a coward. He's a piece of, sh he's a piece of trash, dog. And he needs to be in jail. If, if it, there's a death sentence, if you shoot a man in the back, a helpless man in the back like that, he needs to be, we know what time it is. But we can't give up now, and I don't think I, me personally, the protest bring to me bring more negativity than they do positive things. I'm about community. I'm always gonna be about community building, and I'm always gonna be about conversation. So that's that on that. Um, but I like what the players are doing, NFL, NBA. I like the solidarity. So straight up. I'm with whatever, but my plan will always be I'm going to get back to my community and make sure that I'm talking to brown boys and girls about what they need to do correctly. That's just me. That's just foots, period. All right, here we go, guys. Training tent, training camp. We got a lot to get to. Training camp midterm standouts. You guys see them on the screen. I got some notes. Got my notebook, y'all. Y'all know what time it is, man. Trayvon Diggs, Francis Bernard, CeeDee Lamb, and Tristan Hill? What do you mean, foot? So, um... And, and what to watch for really in this blue and white scrimmage. So right now, in this really week two and a half, Trayvon Diggs is now just say, you know what, I'm ready to turn up. And I told you guys, being a first-year corner, practicing against the talent that he practiced against at Alabama, the NFL speed wouldn't be too much for him. If you're practicing against Henry Ruggs, if you're practicing against these guys who can really play Devonta Smith, um, um, Jerry Judy on duty, Dog, you're gonna be good to do. You're gonna be good to go. Like I was just saying that on Joe on Joe Raj page. Like I feel like the only issue he's gonna have is technique. I don't think I'll be honest. I don't even think confidence is gonna be an issue with this player. And it's an amazing, amazing thing. Francis Bernard. You know why I like this? Because could this push Sean Lee off the roster? I want you guys to think about this for a second. This guy can play. This guy hustles. This guy's. This guy, it, 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 his name is being mentioned. With there being no preseason, this blue and right scrimmage is going to be huge for him. How does he close that C gap? If you guys don't know, I love backers and on air, but let's be honest. Linebackers are physical position. So when you see that, when you see that video of Leighton Vander Esch smoking Tony Pollard, that's how you want your linebackers playing behind their pads. All that stuff on air, knocking down passes, that's great. Can you come down and fill C-gap off tackle with bad intentions? Because times in the past, I think that's where Dallas 
Not with Layton because Layton is a physical, physical player. But times in the past, I think that's where Dallas has kind of missed the bar with our backers. And if he can do that, because speaking of Layton, he has the neck injury history. Now, he was kind of, I would say, defensive when talking about his neck. But guess what? It's here. It's one of those things that we can we can say, like, yo, it's, it's a cause for concern until he gets through a whole year. So depth at that position, young depth, because if your depth is an old Sean Lee, let's be honest, the chance of him getting hurt again are pretty high. So I'm just thinking, guys, ahead of the curb, I, man, listen, listen, I don't want to say cut Sean Lee, but it's really, really something to think about. I'm, that's all I'm saying, especially if this guy keeps making plays. CeeDee Lamb, so the tweet went out today from David Hellman basically saying, like, CeeDee Lamb looks like you wouldn't even know that if he wasn't, if he didn't have a star on his helmet, you wouldn't even know that he was a rookie. I'm not surprised because the movement was so fluent and he's going against lesser corners and he's going to be going against lesser corners in the league because in that 11 personnel, Dallas will be able to find matchups to put him on lesser skilled guys. And I just think that he's going to dominate. Like his route running doesn't have to be super crisp when he's that much of an athlete and the run after catch ability is that crazy. With these guys not having a full training camp and a full OTA, these defenses to be able to tackle, to be able to get physical, I truthfully do believe that that plays in two receivers in the offense's hands. And I truthfully do believe that a CD Lamb, it just plays into his hands, guys. I think he's going to have a I think he's going to have a dynamic, dynamic year. And it'll be pretty clear that dare to say Gallup and CD might just show that they're better than Amari Cooper by the end of this year. I'm just going out on a limb and like just being real, y'all. Cedric Wilson, and there's we can even get to some honorable mentions like Cedric Wilson, Alden Smith, Bradley and Nye, which I told you guys, keep him in the fold. I know everybody wants Gregory, 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 but if you got a hard working Jimmy like a Nye in the cut who can just come in and give you something in a rotational type situation, that is a that's a hell of a hell of a piece to have. And Tristan Hill. Why do I say Tristan Hill, guys? Foots, what are you talking about? Tristan Hill, I thought you didn't like him. The fact that somebody's saying something positive about him. The fact that Tom Zula says something positive about Tristan Hill, for me, is a win. The fact that writers are bringing up Tristan Hill's name, and, and now it's all on air, and obviously he has to get through a game, he has to be physical throughout a game, but the fact that he is being brought up and he's causing havoc, and, and you could tell in his post conference he's a little annoyed. He wants to get out there and play. Well, hey, get out there and make plays. And, hey, I will eat crow. I want to eat crow on, tw on Tristan Hill, y'all. I want to be so wrong about him. I want him to be the best player. I want him and Neville Gallimore to be in a rotation. I think that this could be trial by fire. Like, trial by fire, what do you mean? For it's trial by fire, like, yo, what's the name getting hurt? Could open up the floodgates for Tristan Hill. Could up open up the floodgates for Neville Gallimore. So it's just something to think about. Jerry McCoy being hurt could be a blessing in disguise. We never know. Last but not least, guys. Who do you who do we want to see? For me in the in the blue and white scrums, I want to see Anthony Brown because I think he's gonna start on the outside no matter how good Trayvon Davis is playing. I want to see Trayvon Davis. I want to see C.D. Lamb. I want to see these backups. I want to see how, I want to see just a skelly look of what McCarthy's imprint on this offense is gonna look like. The formations, the different wrinkles. He's not gonna show everything because trust me, there are advanced scouts out here who are gonna be looking for everything. What does it look like? What are we watching for in this blown white scrimmage? I want to see guys getting off the ball. I want to see these guys compete. Just go out there, compete, have fun, play football. I just want to see some good ball this year, y'all. I really, really do. Um, so you guys let me know what you think. Again, this is the mid-camp standouts. Who, who's standing out, y'all? Who's doing their thing? I think this, this Cowboy team is going to be very, very sneaky. And I think that this is a breath of fresh air. It's a breath of fresh air just seeing Mike McCarthy talk. I watch every press conference, just hearing him talk. You get little nuggets every single time. So it's your boy Foots. Sports brings us all together. I'm going to drink my smoothie. I'm going to get this video out to you guys, man. Keep praying for the world. It's been crazy, but hey, stay healthy. Control what you can control. That's it. That's all. Hit the cash app up, y'all. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. Hey. Oh, I might be getting on with uh, Skywalker still soon, too. Hopefully he watches. We're we, we supposed to link up soon. So. Botch, Joe Rod, Law Nation, Okoye, Mark Holmes, everybody. I'm all in with all y'all good men. Y'all my good men. Oh, I can't forget about the GOAT, Shango. Hey.